What is going on guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including a WWE trying to bring back the Attitude Era, a rumor on Brock Lesnar being back on the WWE roster, Roman Reigns' is touching gesture to a cancer survivor, LA Knight shoots on main event push, is Rob Van Dam returning to WWE and much more? Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania Shorts. Now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at our WWE trying to bring back the Attitude Era. Now, our top story today takes a look at recent comments from current NXT commentator Booker T, who believes that WWE are trying to bring back the Attitude Era. The Attitude Era was one of the most successful time periods in wrestling, and WWE firmly cemented themselves as a pop culture stable. Names such as Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Triple H, and Mick Foley all became known outside the WWE bubble, and it's an era that the majority of fans look back fondly on. According to WWE Hall of Famer Booker T on his Hall of Fame podcast, he believes that WWE is trying to get back to the Attitude Era, and the former world champion cites the Bloodline Saga as well as The Rock returning to WWE as his justification. To me though, the Attitude Era was the best era I think in wrestling of all time, but I do think that the WWE right now is trying to bring back to that just a little bit, of course with the Bloodline storyline and of course now with The Rock coming back. The interesting thing about Booker's comments is that Booker is there for weekly TV every week, so Booker is seeing the day-to-day -day operations, and even though Booker is working in the NXT brand, he clearly has an insight on the way the WWE product is heading. Now it goes without saying that WWE are doing record business as things stand, so deviating away from what's working would make little sense. WWE will likely remain a PG product for the foreseeable future, as a PG presentation allows WWE to work closely with a wide range of sponsors. The PG product, while somewhat limiting, can be pushed when the time comes, as WWE are permitted to throw in the odd curse word here and there. Booker's focus is on the Bloodline storyline, which has been fully character-driven, and characters and character arcs were a key part of the Attitude Era, so perhaps that's what Booker is referring to with his recent comment. What do you guys think? Is WWE bringing back the Attitude Era? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Kenny Omega wants to wrestle top WWE star. On a recent Twitch stream, AEW executive Kenny Omega revealed that he would be interested in wrestling current WWE World Champion Seth Rollins. Boy, like, I'd love to do something with Seth, and, well, because I'd love to. You know what I mean? It's like, how? I'd love to do something with Seth. Uh, due to Omega and Rollins being in separate companies, a match right now is literally impossible. Yet one day it's entirely possible that the dream match goes down, and fans finally see two of the brightest stars of the modern era collide 1v1. Next up, Paul Heyman reveals why he accepted the Hall of Fame nod. Now, this week it was announced that Paul Heyman would be inducted into the Hall of Fame. It was reported that Heyman had previously turned the induction down, and during a recent interview with TMZ, Heyman revealed exactly why he turned it down and why now is the right time. According to the wise man, if he was previously inducted whilst managing Brock Lesnar, his acclaimed work as part of the Bloodline saga wouldn't have been included in his Hall of Fame resume. Heyman makes a great point here, as his work with the Bloodline has been outstanding, and it would have been a shame if Heyman's Hall of Fame speech wasn't able to discuss his work alongside Roman Reigns. Next up, a former US Champion buries Seth Rollins' promo. A former WCW star Conan is never one to shy away from his opinions on modern wrestling, and the latest edition of Keeping It 100 was no exception. Conan had a brutal take on Seth Rollins' promo from this week's Raw, and Conan, like many WWE fans, wasn't a fan of the Diarrhea Dwayne line. You got good star power leading into WrestleMania, just part of a great storyline, and I think people were waiting to see what they were going to say after The Rock doubly annihilated both of them on Friday. And it just felt for such a cool character to say such a corny elementary school line, then worse the fans chanting it, it was embarrassing to even be a fan. I mean, who checked off on that? Did he not run that by? And then Drew buried him on Twitter. Did you see that? That was hilarious. He was savage. I was so effing disappointed at that line. Next up, Okada wanted to wrestle at WrestleMania. Nance formally announced this week that legendary wrestler Kazuchika Okada has signed with AEW. There's been speculation that Okada could have potentially signed with the WWE, yet he eventually decided to sign for AEW, a promotion he had worked with in the past. The Sports Illustrated offers some great insight into why Okada decided to sign with AEW, and the notable publication revealed that Okada was interested in wrestling at WrestleMania. 
Speaking with sources close to AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling, Okada feels he will be given the best opportunity to succeed in AEW. WWE was a real consideration for Okada and he loved the idea of being part of a WrestleMania. But in AEW, Okada is not forced to relocate and he can continue living in Japan if he chooses. It also means he can partner with the Bucks and extend his rivalry with Kenny Omega. Okada wrestling at WrestleMania would have been a huge deal. Nevertheless, fans have high hopes for his AEW run and it would be great to see Okada wrestle the top names in AEW such as Adam Page, MJF, Brian Danielson, Samoa Joe and of course, his former arch rival, Kenny Omega. Next up, Roman Reigns' touching gesture towards cancer survivor. The WWE during WrestleMania season have been putting focus on fans bringing signs to shows. Bringing signs to WWE shows has been a thing of the past, yet they have been actively encouraging it during WrestleMania season. This past week on SmackDown, a fan brought a sign that stated, Acknowledge I'm in remission. Amazingly, Roman Reigns saw the sign during his entrance, and after taking a few seconds to read it, Reigns then performed his signature pose on the ring apron in a wholesome gesture that was clearly directed towards the fan. It's also believed that Reigns himself met the fan backstage and signed the sign, which must have been an incredible moment for both the lucky fan as well as Reigns. Next up, RVD returning to WWE. A former WWE champion RVD has made sporadic appearances in AEW over the past 12 months, yet RVD took to Twitter last night and seemingly implied that he's willing to return to WWE. A fan asked RVD if he was going to make any WWE appearances and RVD simply replied, sure. RVD last wrestled in WWE back in summer 2014, his last WWE match to date was a loss to current world champion Seth Rollins. Next up, frustration in WWE over upcoming title match. The Kabuki Warriors defend their tag titles against NXT Women's Champion Lyra Valkyrie and Tatum Paxley on this week's NXT. However, as many fans pointed out, the outcome was a foregone conclusion, as the day before, WWE announced that Asuka and Kairi Sane would defend against Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler on the next edition of Raw. Now, according to Fightful, officials within NXT were very happy to have former NXT alumni Asuka and Sane on the show. However, there was said to be some frustration with them having the title defense already booked for an upcoming edition of Raw. Next up is Brock Lesnar back on the WWE roster. Now, last night, several Twitter users were claiming that WWE had re-added Brock Lesnar to the WWE roster page on their website. However, this isn't a recent addition, as Lesnar has been there all along, and he was never actually removed. Even though WWE have distanced themselves from Lesnar since the Vince McMahon lawsuit surfaced, he has remained listed as an active talent on the roster page, so unfortunately, nothing has changed in that regard. Next up, LA Knight shoots on main event push. 2023 saw WWE push LA Knight drastically up the card and LA reflected on the prior year during an interview with Gorilla Position. Shockingly, LA stated he believes he was pushed into a WWE title match with Roman Reigns too soon and there should have been obstacles in the way. Maybe there should have been a little bit more of a climb on the way there, but at the same time, things were such a rapid pace. I think that it was almost kind of a, alright, well, we're just going to throw him out there, sink or swim. Son of a bitch swam like crazy. So I think I'm also, you know, getting my bearings as far as being a fan favorite, if you will. LA isn't alone in his opinion as the consensus at the time when LA faced Reigns at Crown Jewel was that the match was happening far too soon. Whilst he has remained popular since his defeat to Reigns, the match could have waited until at least the Royal Rumble. Notwithstanding the criticism, it looks like LA is set for his first WrestleMania match in four weeks and if reports and rumors are to be believed, LA is destined for a singles match with former WWE Champion AJ Styles. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.